Right into your WDSU first warning weather where it says weather impact day. Some areas of the South Shore we haven't gotten to freezing just yet and you may freeze tomorrow morning, but this is not going to include New Orleans or much of the Metro. But just outside, I could see Belle Chase getting close to it and especially Thibodeau, Homa, Galliano, those typical areas where the cold can wrap around and spill in to the South Shore. Right now, low temperatures today. Can you believe that? We were chilly mid 30s North Shore, and we were also just around 40 degrees in many parts of the South Shore. 44 officially here in New Orleans. Galliano was at 40. So the chill began today, but I wouldn't expect there was a ton of frost North Shore. We were close to it, and there was a little bit of a breeze that picked up. So let's look at the satellite imagery, and with the visible satellite imagery, take a look at what we had today. A couple of fair weather, just cold clouds with really, really cold air above. You think it's chilly here, you go up a few thousand feet, so maybe you'd seen one or two clouds, but pretty much it had been a sunny day that we've got. There's the freeze warnings that are in effect all the North Shore, Pearl River County, Hancock County, Mississippi, to include St. Charles Parish and then Lafouche Terrebonne Parishes, but does not include Jefferson, Plaquemines, and as you go to Orleans Parish, there are parts there it looks to be Jefferson Parish that are included, but those are going to be for those coldest zones where that pool of the cold air kind of spills down in towards the river basin. This is from midnight tonight, going up until 10 a.m. tomorrow morning, so you should expect that freeze to be here. But what we're looking at is a little bit in the way of some marsh fires, so a little, as I've said, housekeeping first. I had noticed this in our WDSU first warning Doppler radar, is the radar in Slidell, the National Weather Service, is being moved to a better location to serve both cities here in Baton Rouge. You can find these marsh fires right here with our Doppler radar. So Jean Lafitte and Lafitte, if you've smelled smoke today and you've seen that kind of smoky and hazy air, that's because of those marsh fires that are there. Let's find out what we've got for real time temperatures. You can see we're all into the 50s right now to be expected. As we know, those northwest winds 10 to 20 would be pumping in that cold here today. Wind to 13, 16 at Lewis Armstrong International and Lakefront. That's a wind always averaged over two minutes by at least that particular report. So here's where we've got the system that is making its way into about, say, the Midwest Ohio Valley, stringing through the cold front. Chilly, another cold morning. So we'll freeze tomorrow morning in some cases and another freeze to come Saturday and one final one towards New Year's Eve morning and then temperatures actually start to go up. Maybe we're going to have the right timing for things finally ringing in and around a holiday. If any clouds one or two tonight and there's the freeze warning in effect once again not including the New Orleans Metro. 20s North Shore could be as cold as that for actual freezing temps. I do have Bell Chase and Homa possibly freezing tomorrow morning, but factor in the winds 10 to 20. And it's going to be quite the wind chill. Everybody's going to feel pretty cold if you're out tomorrow morning. Bundle up. Sunny day coming in on Friday. Maybe one or two clouds here and there, but just a few, mostly sunny. And then it's almost just like today. Sunny skies, those northwest winds pretty brisk. It's going to feel chilly. An exercise caution for local waters and open seas. Be aware of that, and the tidal range is starting to contract. Lows into Saturday, another freeze potential. I expect another freeze warning. At least the wind's not as bad, a little bit of a wind chill, but we got a pretty much sunny day and we'll get temps to go up just a little bit here. We'll be mustering mid to upper 50s, nearing 60 by that time. At least again, those winds won't be as strong. So as we look ahead to your New Year's Eve and New Year's Day forecast, we do track this rain potential, but temperatures will be going up. Take a look. I've got mid to upper 60s for New Year's Day. That means for the Sugar Bowl Parade, we are feeling fine, but there is a chance of some rain coming in to ring in the new year. But I think this comes in just after we have those celebrations till the early morning hours and morning hours for New Year's Day. But you can see the chance is only about 50-50. WDSU first warning weather, seven day forecast, the freezes, the chills, the weather impact days for those under the alerts, and then nicer days to come, at least temperature wise. Look at that. We're knocking on a 70 degree door for New Year's Eve and New Year's Day.